right, before we get going with this group, um, seniors, uh, as you make your way across, if you'll hold up, we've got a little bit more in order to discuss and to give with each of you. But I just wanted to give a little bit of perspective. Okay, this group won 10 games this year, five and one in county, tied for uh, best team in the county, unless of course we go by Max Preps, go back. Um, last year won 14 games, 10 of them were, or no, hold on, 13 of them were consecutive uh, to bring us our first outright area championship that we had ever had. Uh, and the season cut short by uh, COVID when these young men were sophomores, we were off to a six in one start before all of a sudden things got cut short, four in O for the group that was playing with JV. And for those of you that were freshmen, got a part of being some of the, at that time, biggest wins over some of the schools that we would normally play in Atlanta and not even think twice about losing to. So you have all been part of a very storied career. And before we get going, uh, I thank you very much for each being a part of it in your own special ways. Um, but again, we're definitely going to miss each of you. All right, up first, second year varsity letterman, Nathan Baggett. First year varsity letterman, Patrick Bramble. First year varsity letterman, Adam Chadwick. First year varsity letterman, Cameron Crow. Fourth year varsity letterman, FCA selection for Team Augusta, all county first team goalie, all area first team goalie, and captain, Matt David. Second year varsity letterman, FCA selection for Team Augusta, all county first team midfielder, all area first team midfielder, and captain, Peyton Herrick. Three year varsity letterman, FCA selection for Team Augusta, first team all county for the third year in a row at attack. Second year consecutive being first team all area in last year's all area player of the year, Joe Meyer. <laughs> Second year varsity letterman, Cameron Moore. Second year varsity letterman, Jack Pride. Second year varsity letterman, FCA selection for Team Augusta in all county first defense, Evan Rubinchek. <laughs> Second year varsity letterman in FCA selection for Team Augusta, Mark Small. <laughs> Three year varsity letterman, FCA selection for Team Augusta in captain. Parker Taylor. And last but not least, second year varsity letterman, and by the way, valedictorian, Jonah Weinstein. <laughs> to put into words the impact that y'all have had on this program, uh, and again, from the meekest personality to the boldest, you will all be missed. Uh, in ways that I can't even begin to describe. The one thing that I will tell you is that I will hope uh, that when you check back in from the great things that you will do moving forward in the future, that you'll come by and say hello to a familiar face, even if he has no voice at that moment. <laughs> um, we're gonna do some special awards here in a minute, but just to go ahead and tell you, at the end of the evening, please feel free in order to get your senior manner, uh, the senior gifts, which I'm going to go ahead and describe because of some funny stories. So over the course of the last several years, over the course of the last several years, I've always had players ask me, Coach,
can I buy my jersey? And the answer has always been no. Because jerseys are expensive and they're a pain to get. So I figured I would meet them halfway. And so seniors, what we have done is we have created replicas of your home jersey in order to put on a canvas that you can hang. Uh, you can stick it in your closet. You can forget about it like you forgot most things that I told you this season. Uh, but definitely make sure to take this. I just wanted you to have a reminder of the time that you have invested here uh, within this program. And hopefully this will give you the opportunity in order to take a little bit of us with you as you move forward. So again, you can get those before you leave, but I just wanted to let you know that they were here. So how about one more big round of applause for the class. So this one, uh, this has been a few years in the making. I've been out here for five years now, so I've had the distinct uh, pleasure of watching this guy uh, grow as a, as a player, as a human, everything in between for the last couple of years. So I'm looking back to freshman year, uh, this dude coming out, uh, there was a Coach Walls that had some uh, choice language for him during the course of that season. And just remember looking at that dude and thinking, man, he's, he's running crazy all over the place, but dang, he scores. Like that, that's insane. Came back next year, looked like a different human being, uh, obviously put in, put in some work. Uh, physically between that freshman and sophomore year and put up some crazy numbers in the varsity level before that season was tragically cut short. Um, so it goes without saying that we got a pretty good idea of who this, this gentleman is, but what I've enjoyed the most over the last few years, and particularly this year, was watching the maturity of the player going from, I know I can rip it 100 miles an hour from anywhere I want, to looking at the whole game, big picture, finding ways to be active all over the field and do whatever it took to help his team win. And just just the step from last year was one of the most phenomenal players I've seen at the high school level to just take it up to that next level and be a complete team player. I couldn't be prouder and it's been a hell of a lot of fun to watch you grow up here, Joe. Congratulations, offensive MVP, to Joe. Controlling yourself in the heat of the moment and being able to um, lead your team from the defensive end is huge. And talk about standing on his head over and over again for us. And, you know, I've only been here uh, for two years, but, uh, I mean, you can see the work that he puts in. And the best part is how he teaches everyone around him at the same time. And that's probably the most important quality, um, which is why I think he deserves this more. Uh, MVP for defense, Mac Daly. I gotta go again now. All right, up next, uh, who easily became the dad of the team, at least as far as camp was concerned. Uh, I'm pretty sure his son is Braxton Peacock. Uh, midfielder Peyton Herrick. And then lastly, from his position in the cage, helping us on the defensive uh, side, uh, third captain, goalie, Mac Dillon. Uh, gentlemen, I hope this year taught you uh, one simple lesson, that if you want to lead, you have to serve first. And if you can remember that moving forward, you'll already have a leg up on just about all the rest of the competition. So thank you once again. It's like the Grammys. All right, so up first, uh, Joe Meyer, number nine attackman. Now, the, first up, the reason for doing this, some of our records from earlier seasons aren't necessarily the easiest to find. Some of them have been lost to the internet because the services have changed. And this took me a while in order to go through and fact check, which is why you probably haven't heard uh, of some of this first. But Joe, in his three years on varsity, 
Okay, and keep in mind that the first year only played seven games. Three-year varsity letterman, three-year first-team all-county attack, two-year first-team all-area attack, was the Area 4 Player of the Year last season, was named to the Diversity All-State team two years in a row, was selected to the inaugural FCA All-Star team to represent Team Augusta. But here is the bigger deal, okay? School records, single season goals. Last season, 52. The only time we have ever had a player eclipse 50 goals in a single season. Single season points for both goals and assists. Uh, last year, Joe Meyer, uh, 69 points. Okay? I hate all of them. Um, career goals. Okay, and again, I need you to keep in mind, career goals with only a seven-game sophomore season, 123 in two and a half seasons. In fact, we are fairly certain it was either the first goal that he scored or the second goal that he scored against George Walton that actually put him over the top of our only 100-goal player. Uh, but lastly, career points. And again, two and a half seasons, 165. That is averaging 55 points a season. So again, stats are a little interesting, okay? Um, but if you go back and look at it, Mac has been a part of this program for now five years, four of them lettering on varsity. Uh, but again, Mac Daly, goalie, four-year varsity letterman, three-year first-team all-county, two-year first-team all-area, diversity all-state selection, uh, the last two years elected to the very first FCA Team Augusta uh, here within the last month. But when you start to talk about the stats, Sometimes it can be a little bit misleading. You have teams that have tons and tons and tons of saves, and it's because the ball never gets out of the defensive side. Or you might have somebody uh, who has all sorts of a save percentage. And for the record, uh, Matt, your game against Oconee County, you saved 90% of the shots that were on target. <laughs> For a little bit of perspective, Pace Academy scored 18 on us in the playoff game. Mac was at 52% save percentage. I need you to think about just what that means. But out of any position, just like a pitcher in baseball, a goalie is the one who is credited with wins and losses. And so Mac Daly now owns the single season win record for 14 last year in his junior season. This was the one that I had to go back and check, is now the uh, career wins leader at 28 wins in his time as a varsity letterman. Uh, probably should be 29 if we think about that Brookwood game your freshman year, but that's a story for another day. Um, and again, it's a little bit different, but to just understand the volume of work. First place in career saves with 412 over his entire season. So gentlemen, the reason I wanted to take a moment was in order to uh, make sure that you were recognized for a stellar career, uh, but really in order to give you uh, this next bit, which is the best way I can think in order to honor the both of you. Uh, the greatest awards in history all have names, the Heisman, the Tawaraton, the Bednarik, the Naismith, and we just have MVPs. So it's taken me a minute because there's some things that I have to go through in order to make sure that it is approved. But I finally got the go ahead yesterday. It is my pleasure that 
beginning next season, the varsity offensive MVP will now be known as the Meyer Award. Oh. And beginning next season, the defensive MVP will now be known as the Daily Award. So again, gentlemen, job well done. You've had an impact on this program, and that was just simply my humble way in order to show you that I'll that legacy to be recognized well after you've left here. But again, thank you to the both of you.